you finally reached the end of your workday, a day that started with you skimming hours from sleep to get a jumpstart on your to-do list. It continued with you eating lunch at your desk to avoid losing momentum, ignoring calls from family and friends to fend off feelings of guilt about not working, and adding new projects to your plate after finishing up others. You've managed to reject anything that resembles a break so you can stay firmly focused on your work performance and success. Now, you're exhausted. And, let's be honest, you're also addicted to working. Here are five temporary solutions to try out to ease the tension of mental exhaustion from being addicted to work until you're ready to put in the courageous effort to change your approach to work. Number 1. Take a walk around the block. Once you close your computer and step away from your desk, kick on your walking shoes and head outside. Walking has long been identified as a way to relax the mind and the body. In fact, research has shown that a brisk walk can relieve stress and tension similar to how aspirin relieves a headache. The reason for this has to do with how the slow impact exercise triggers the release of endorphins or brain chemicals that stimulate relaxation. If your work addiction has left you with limited time, you're in luck. A walk as short as 10 minutes can provide the stress relieving benefits you need to reset your mind. Number 2. Crawl up under a weighted blanket. For many people, taking a nap is an ideal antidote for restoring the body and brain after many hours of work. If you are addicted to work, however, you may not be able to easily disconnect from unfinished projects and allow yourself to drift off to sleep. A weighted blanket may be able to help. This type of blanket ranges from 5 to 30 pounds and is designed to help you feel snug and secure like a comforting hug. In theory, the blanket provides pressure therapy, which helps to settle your nervous system and lower your heart rate when you are stressed. Pressure therapy can increase the amount of serotonin and oxytocin released in the brain, which can lead to a sense of calm. Number 3. Turn on Otis Redding. Music is often a go-to resource to stimulate good vibes. If you're addicted to work and looking for a way to release the built-up tension generated from your intense focus on productivity, power up your favorite music streaming service and turn on some soothing sounds. Research shows that music around 60 beats per minute can cause your brain to synchronize with the beat and create alpha brainwaves. These are the helpful brainwaves that appear when you are relaxed. Number 4. Say Cheese. Smiling is easy, quick, and loaded with relaxation benefits. All it takes is getting past the awkwardness of sitting down or walking around with a grin on your face for no reason other than to unwind. Research shows that an act as simple as smiling can be effective in reducing the intensity of the body's stress response and lowering heart rate levels after stressful activities. And all of this can happen regardless of whether you actually feel happy. Number 5. Lie on the floor. If being addicted to work has left you in a severe state of exhaustion that the only thing you can think to do is lay flat on the floor, you're closer to relaxation than you may realize. The Alexander Technique, named after a Shakespearean actor, offers up a specific way to lie on the floor so that you release tension in your muscles. The technique, also known as constructive rest, involves turning on your back with your knees bent and feet on the floor. In addition to helping you relax, the specific position supports spinal alignment. Be e sure not to get too cozy, though. Lying on the floor for an extended period of time could lead to soreness and stiffness. Now, if you're an overachiever in figuring out how to relax, just as much as you are an overachiever at working, consider walking around the block, returning home, turning on smooth sounds, lying on the floor with a weighted pull on top of you, closing your eyes, and smiling concurrently.